My friends, welcome to a new and exciting episode of the Dean's List. Where it's the hottest week in New Jersey, I'm out here sweating. It's a good day, my friends. It's Monday. God made it. We're out here, right? So that's good. So yeah, if you didn't know, it's hot in New Jersey right now. It's like the hottest weekend ever. Um, I did something Friday night, but outside of that, I stayed in the house like Saturday and Sunday. It was crazy out. My lawn is a little overdue, but that's not happening today. Not tomorrow. I think not till Thursday or Friday. It ain't that high though. I mean, I did it last last weekend. Not the one that just passed, but it's, it's not bad. We're only going on nine days. You know what I'm saying? My homie Harrow would be disappointed in me. He's like Hank Hill, you know? He only cooks on propane. Lawn is just phenomenal. You know what I mean? Uh, I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him. That dude's killing it in life. Shout out to my homie Diesel. We got a little roughed up last week. Bro, thinking of you. Hope you're feeling better. Maybe you took the day off. You probably should have. You know your boy's out here for you. So, you know, we're thinking of you. Brian Ott holding it down in Indiana. Uh, my brother's having a kid. I'm so excited, man. I can't wait to hold this little nephew, dude. Oh, oh, I love babies, dude. If you don't like babies, you're a loser, dude. It's like not liking kittens or something. They're all cute, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who don't like babies and kittens, right, man? So, yeah, so I went to Philly last weekend, my friends, for the first time in a while. I live in New Jersey, not far outside of Philly. I used to go to Philly a lot. I don't know, dates, whatever, go out there to eat. You know, uh, I had a cousin who lived out there. You know, things, right? Just go out to Philly. But, you know, I don't know, pandemic life, whatever. I, know, I also like trees. You know, I'm in the suburbs where, you know, you don't have to designate an area for trees. You can just look around and see a tree. I like that. And saying that, I went to the city. It was a good time. Uh, there was a little more, I don't know, what do I want to say? A little more homeless crew with the Paco High Speed Line than I used to remember. Down on 12th, 13th and Locust, smelling heavily of urine. It was never like that, but I guess the times they are a-changing. Um, but anyway, whatever. I got out the train station. No big deal. Went to, like, McGillan's, like, the oldest pub in Philly. My uncle's very, like, Mr. Tour Guy guy. Like, yeah, we'll go to the oldest pub in Philly, and then we'll go <laughs> here. Like, yeah, so that was cool. So I went to McGillan's, then went to, like, a yakitori place. I believe I'm pronounced that right. It's, like, Japanese barbecue, but it's smokeless barbecue. It's, like, ultra hot. Now you know. Yeah, I believe it's yakitori. So if I'm wrong, correct me. We love Japan. You know that. Japan. We love you, man. We love you. Um, yeah, but we didn't really eat there. We only got we had like I don't know potato chips and some like homemade ranch dip, which was delicious. But then we ended up going to like this bar restaurant in Chinatown, which had the slamminess Chinese food I ever had, man. I don't know. It was definitely good. It was definitely good. It was, it was bordering great. It was great. And there was like some dry wok flounder dish they got slam it and we got cold sesame noodles i love cold sesame noodles if you don't know about cold sesame noodles they're great for the summertime they're usually like lukewarm or just a little chilled and they're in like this peanut sesame sauce usually a bunch of green onions on top some places serve it spicy some places don't i'll take it either way so good man if you don't know about cold sesame noodles now you do it's on the appetizer menu you've probably seen it and just never bought it. But now you can, because the Dean's List endorses cold sesame noodles. Should have said that a while ago. But anyway, right? So that was great. I had a great time with them. Archie, Candace, my uncle, and basically my aunt at this point. I love them. Can't say enough good about them. Also his son, Jeremy, who uh, I love very much. That's my cousin. We got like a, I ain't seen him in a long time, but we're definitely broed up for life. Uh, for reasons not recommended <laughs> and um yeah it's just such a good time i'm so grateful to have like the family i have you know um 
just good people in my life, man. Good people in my life, friends, whoever, you know? I feel like everybody I know right now is just, you know, I'm so glad to have them. I'm so glad to have them. So uh, I can't say enough about that, you know? And then I came home, you know? I actually, you know, I crashed on their place. They got this beautiful place, 13th and Walnut. And I went and crashed at home, man. So that was a good time. Uh, yeah, so that was awesome. And then I stayed inside all weekend because, man, it was hot. It was like hundreds of hundreds of degrees. You know what I mean? My caucus roots, look at me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not built for that. <laughs> you know, do I look Caribbean to you? Do I look like I'm built for humidity? Nay, nay, nay is I. So that didn't, that didn't too much happen. Um, oh, there was something I wanted to bring up. You know what I mean? Um, because sometimes I just think of these things, and I think in society, we need to remember what makes us whole, you know, and good, you know. Um, man, if you can't change a flat tire, I'll preface this. So I'll say something about men. Men, if you can't change a flat tire, you better learn how. Go watch a YouTube video. I ain't saying you gotta be a master mechanic, but hey, you can't be calling roadside assistance for uh, a tire, my bro. Or we don't recognize you. Who are you? <laughs> Go swim with that thing that tries to swim with the girls and couldn't even beat them. Only tied a girl and they still tried to give it the medal. But the Dean's List ain't up on things. The Dean's List don't know what he's talking about. Anyway, oh yeah, so I've been thinking about this. Signature dishes, right? I be talking about this with my friends and stuff, my brother sometimes. I'm like, yo, when I was a kid, every woman I knew in any facet had a signature dish, you know? Like my mom brought pecan pie to Thanksgiving. My sister-in-law brought pumpkin roll. I didn't really like pumpkin roll when I was a kid. I appreciated it more when I was older. But she always brought it. It was her signature. My grandma made really great mac and cheese. She also burnt biscuits every year. But she made deviled eggs. She always had deviled eggs and cold kibasi for an appetizer. I'm not saying it's great, but it reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> so, you know, but the deviled eggs were very good. I love deviled eggs. You know what I mean? Meredith, where are my eggs at? Um, yeah, and you know, like my, my best friend's mom, Oh, she used to make us like a, like a like a taco dip, and this is back in the '80s when people didn't even make taco dip. We were we were white as anything back then, or maybe the early '90s. We were still white as anything. Taco go was Mexican to us, so yeah. She used to make taco dip. Then his grandma, oh, she was the greatest. She had like all these cookies. She was just like the queen of baking. Nan, I didn't even know her name till I was 19. She was Nan to me. Apparently, her name was Almeida, but who cares? She was Nan to everybody. And she was a great woman. So shout out to Nan Almeida Brennigan. Yeah, she didn't have the same last name. Um, yeah, great woman. Great woman. Um, but yeah, all these women had signature dishes. I'm sure I could keep going down the line. Point being, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Your grandma had that dish. Your aunt had that dish. Your best friend's mom had that dish. You know, your older cousin had a dish. You know, even young girls might have a dish, like a little teenager. You know, and like, what happened to that, man? And the best thing is, like, we love to eat it. Like, there's it, like so much love in these things. People are forgetting that, like, you know, like when you're sharing food with people, it's like you're sharing love with them, you know? Um, you're sharing like a piece of you with them. And that's why people love to eat other people's food. It's not that people want you to slave for them. It's that it said like, here, because I love you people, I tried to make something that I think you'll love. Right? And how wonderful is that? How wonderful is that? I think, like, there needs to, we need to stop all this hating. Like, you know, like, yeah, men are stronger than women, but women are beautiful. Like, women, um, you know, they have their own essence. We don't just want to be out here alone, you know? Um, so I just think that, like, it would be a great thing if, you know, women had signature dishes again. Because I lived for those things in, like, the late 80s, early 90s almost up to the 2000s. It was a thing. It was a thing. Don't tell me it wasn't. I know it. I lived through it. I seen it. I seen it. So anyway, I don't want to go too far on it, but yeah, we need signature dishes back. Joanne, where you at? Bring me some pumpkin roll. 
You know what I'm saying? I would still eat it. Maybe I'll have to come see you. I do love her. It's my sister-in-law. Um, so, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, it was a good week. It's a hot week. And, of course, I'm still out here yo-yoing. What do you think? I'm, what, do you, what do you think? I was going to quit? No, I'm not quitting. You know? But we got a long way to go. Oh, my friends. I just want to tell you who I, I think might be the greatest yo-yo Don on earth, man. You should look him up. His name is... You might have to write this down. It's Ayumu Ayumu Kasuga. A-Y-U-M-U-K-A-S-U-G-A. Ayumu Kasuga. And he placed like, I think it was 12th in the Japanese National Contest just recently. You can go look it up. If you look it up, you'll find it. He performs with a mask on. So he's like the only dude I've ever seen perform with a mask on. Um... Very cool though, man. It's, it's insane. It's insane. I got new inspiration. I have so many things to work on. So much things, yeah, to improve on. I'm not just yo-yoing. This is life out here, my friends. We're doing big things. Ah. So on that note, it's one day that uh, I'm going to get my after work Monday going. I gotta feed my dog some ground beef or ground pork. You try to add out for your animals, my friends. My dog is looking great. It took like easily three, four years off his life. In the best way. He looks like he's seven and he's like 11. Just saying. So, my friends, you stay up, stay strong. You know, or you should know, and if you don't know, you know now that God loves you. All right? Peace.